welcome to the lower Livy Lab. And today we've got something completely different. Because we're going back to the 19th century. Yes, this is a bit of 19th century technology. Now, I bought this thing, which you'll know from the top, but I'm not going to say anyway. Uh, from a company called Bits and Pieces. Uh, it's a website. It's a bit unusual. It doesn't have email addresses. It has contact details, uh, which you have to pay 10p a minute to use. And after using it, I went to get look at reviews of the website, and they were bloody awful. One star, loads of complaints, endless complaints about the company, and I thought, oh bugger, this thing's not going to turn up, and I'm going to have loads of fun. Turns out not. It took a week to come, but it did come from bits and pieces, and uh, they wrapped it up extremely well. Uh, the box. This is actual second box, there was another box, and then it was wrapped with cardboard and then put in a bag and everything, so it was well wrapped. And um, yeah, on criticism, uh, you could save a bit on your postage if you didn't send so much crap with it. But there we go, it did arrive. Let's see if it's good. I've already taken the tape off here to save us time. Let's see if it's any good. So, what have we got in here? Well, we have. Uh, we have a wooden base. <laughs> Not as useful as bubble wrap. The bubble wrap is fun. Ooh, the thingy. So, wooden base. Seems well made. Yep. No complaints there. Yeah, there we go, bubble wrap. Mine. And the main bit. I've had a pot. Ooh. Ooh, more stuff in here. Right, uh, yep, it's a polythene, it's a, yep, yeah, it's a, a foam case holder. What you do, what? Well, it's that 2001, the black obelisk before it got painted. Oh yes, the black obelisk before it got painted. There you go. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, very, anyway, no it's not. Let's open this up and see what's inside, because it's unusual. It's something I've not heard of until about a week before I made this video. So, open the bag, and then we open this, and, oh, oh it's, it's not broken, and, oh no, sellotape! Mm. I can't get past sellotape, wifey, set, oh no, no, pen. God, it's down there, five, <laughs> Yeah. Can't get past solid tape. It's the arch enemy of the Oh and break the thing. Yeah, that's coming. Right. Come in and hopefully we'll just do it like there we go. There she is. It's a specimen. What it looks like it's got specimen. In? I don't know, I've read the instructions, yeah. Look at that. Right, that goes in there. Like that. That's pretty nice there. So what is it? Seven how tall is this? Hang on, let's have a look at me. Stuff the centers. There's a moon voice. It's right in the front, hang on. It's one of the best sellers. Um, oh, no thingy. Um no, it's not. I thought it was in the best front. Okay, oh here it is. Seventeen centimetres tall. What this is is a storm glass. This isn't this one in particular is an Admiral Fitzroy storm glass. So what this is, it predicts <coughs> well it predicted in the 19th century the weather up to two days ahead. And how it works if you look at this. Right. You've got crystals moving around on the water. And they will crystallise out of the water, well water, it's not water, whatever it is, in different ways, depending on the weather. And you can see here, right, if it's clear liquid, fair weather. Murky liquid, rainy weather. Crystals at the top, thunderstorms. Large flaky crystals, cloudy skies, snow and winter. Large flaky crystals? I'd say that's low. Yeah, large flaky crystals. Just about right at the moment, yes, possibly. And a thread of crystals, windy weather. Hmm. 
So, you put that there. <coughs> I think I have to, sh must have to shake it or something to get rid of them. <laughs> there we go. I'll read the instructions, that'll help. Oh, a little, little nozzle thing just comes out. There we go. And I'll just read the instructions and come right back. Okay, apparently you need to give this two or three days to reset, but if you shake it gently, eventually the crystals should disappear. And then you leave it, once it's clear, you leave it, and over a couple of days it will start to predict the weather. And then you have to do this a couple of times to, yeah, to get rid of it. Also apparently heating it with a hairdryer will help to get rid of the crystals. So. I'm just going to shake this a little bit and see if we can get reset it then. I intend to do a time lapse. Over, well, I've only got a couple, well, I've got four hours or so. I have to do a long play, get eight hours. Let me do an eight hour, pardon me, <coughs> eight hour long play video to uh, see what this does and if it actually matches the weather. It doesn't match the weather actually because it just goes on temperature, but there you go. What? Did you see the crystals go and put a hairdryer on it? Yes, apparently. There's one in the bedroom. Yes, I'm going to try that. We'll do that with the time lapse. Yay. We'll be right back. Right, Uncle Fitzroy. Meet Babylus Hairdryer. Obviously, this isn't mine. This is Fluffy's because I have no need for this. So, let's see. Let's do a time lapse and see if we can get these crystals. Here we go. And there we go, just over eight minutes later, we have clear liquid. So, I've got to put this somewhere safe where the cats won't get it. <laughs> Easy said and done. Uh, on top of the piano, I think. And we'll have a look in a couple of days to see what's happened. Should be interesting. We we'll, won't be right, we'll be right back in the video, but we won't actually be right back. I'll be back. Right, it's now a few days later, and uh, I've just reheated this to get rid of any crystals that may have formed, and I will ask you this, I'm not telling you about them, because I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to leave this running for at least four hours, and do a time lapse on it, and uh, you can watch what happens. Now the heating has just gone off in the house, so it's going to cool down here in the lab, and that should have an effect on this. Uh, so, I may leave the window open actually to try and speed it up a little bit but leave it at at least four hours on the time lapse here possibly more we'll see how it's going and uh well you'll see me walk past here and uh well have fun let's see what happens Right, over three hours later you'll see on the time. I'm trying to, going to try and put a time on this video, I don't know how to do that, but if I was successful, then there would have been a timer there to show you. 
<sighs> time lapsing on that, but there you go. It's uh, fully crystallised, and I hope you enjoyed that little close-up and time lapse of the Fitzroy, the Admiral Fitzroy stone glass, 19th century. Uh, if you want one, get it from the place I got it from. Uh, link below, and uh, we can get them off eBay. Good little thing, even though it does work off temperature. Excuse me, temperature, uh, not. Uh, temperature, temperature, not actual weather. So, uh, you can go on the internet and look at the different uh, different ways it will form in, in different temperature ranges. Uh, I've only got this one so far because of the weather here. But there you go. So, hope you enjoyed that. And thank all. Oh, what? You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>